can't make up various. Unfortunately, what's happened is that the in well in Wales there's a new variant was in Abergavenny, and um, a couple of us have come down with it, unfortunately. But it just affects your speech. So every so often we break into like a Welsh accent, this weird thing, and it can't be stopped. So if it happens, you just have to meh. You just have to try and ignore me, okay? Meh. <laughs> 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 okay, good stuff. Okay, I'm going to give it 30 seconds, guys, and I'm just we've got the record button going, and we're going to kick it off. I'm going to do our being fit when we're done. We're done. I've got my list of stuff there, and we're going to crack on and get it done. Interesting to see that nobody in world I know they're home because I dropped them off on the way. All right, and they're, <laughs> they're, all, they're all back safe and sound, obviously resting, but my head's still spinning. So it's now up to you to stop my head spinning to let the brain relax a little bit. So I'm going to meet you all down, guys. Take the vets on Thursday, the weekend. Click, click, click has started. Yes, good stuff. All right. So we're going to have a miserable wet weekend. There's going to be a month of scorching hot sun, hopefully. All right, good stuff. And I've already booked up the hotel for the same time next year, hint. All right. <laughs> Because I've also been asked about and do a wellness trip to the same place, which is for a lot slower, couple of hour walks and things like that. So uh, there's that. Hoping we can keep trips going, guys. Jersey at Christmas for a few days as well, maybe. And the London guys may be coming down to Cornwall and, and we can all get together. But we'll, we shall wait and see. That be September. And um, Barbados is on the green list. So let's let's do another trip out there next year, shall we? Okay. All to come in steps alongside the beam, no tapers, but you guys are doing it on the tape later on. Some of you are in steps three to four inches apart and gently start rocking those feet forwards and back. So, for the, pre the past week, I've been doing lots of walking and everything. Not one ache or pain felt really good. We get back, unpack the minibus, have a little lie down watching the news for half an hour, and I'm like, oh. What's happened to the body? All right. So let's get it all nice and loosened up. Gently bend those knees forward, guys. Coming forwards on the toes. I know some of you missed a bit of conversation. I haven't been at the start. The big mark of everything, seeing people in 3D who I haven't seen for a long time, who do the same type of thing, how firm and toned everyone. I think, wow, look at that. Look what they've done. And then when they're out and about, all this fitness we've done is transferred into the mountains. There's people up there that could have been going for days and days. And... Um, Fitness was out through the roof, so well done for those. I know you're going to watch it later on, guys. Forwards the back, forwards the back, rolling those toes forward, equal body weight distribution throughout the floor, as we always do throughout the body, getting to engaging the pelvic floor and the abs, thinking 30%. Good. Hips forward, butt out to the rear, and all of those you are here now and watching later, big well done, and a clap from me. I was watching the different clicks going on for those you were doing the classes. What I put on, and the amount of people who are doing both of them, you greedy lot. Good stuff. Good to see. Hips forward, butts out to the rear. Fantastic. Like that one. Take hips forward, a bit further forward. Stretch. Now, this isn't for you. This is for me. Stretch my hip flexors out, okay? There. All the way forwards. And stick the butt out to the rear, bending forwards. Let's get a nice, gentle stretch in those hamstrings. Bring the toes up off the floor. <coughs> Clear the chest. And there, brilliant, all the way down. Good, we are liking it. And then upright, back of the hands facing me, shoulder up to the front, push them out to the rear. Today's hot tip from me, do not wash your car, all right? You all know that I've got a car like everybody else, but I've only washed it twice in three and a half years. The last time was last Thursday and I washed it, it was gleaming from Morrison's, shampooed it, waxed it, it underneath I even give it a blasting. Go up Friday morning, flat tire. So do not wash your car, guys. They don't like it. Shoulder out the front, and let's push those hands to the rear as far as you can, gently bending forward from the hips. Again, pulling those toes upwards, relaxing down. We're back live. The weekend started. I'm getting motivated for the rubbish to chuck out later. Good. I'm going to take the hands up towards the ceiling now. Bend the elbows. Put those imaginary rocks in the hands, taking them to the rear. 
and gently ease it backwards. Slowly open the fingers up, put those fruit balls in there if you want to, take the imaginary rocks out, they're a bit rough, and start taking the shoulder blades, sort of squeezing that A4 paper there and back. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's better than carrying the emergency tent around the Black Mountains, that's for sure. Here we go, nice up there. Good, get the shoulders going back. And now we're gonna take the hand up towards the ceiling, straighten the arms up, and slowly but surely in our own time, because we know it works, fingertips coming up to the ceiling. We are no longer a fitness club here because of COVID. We're here because we are our online fitness club. And that's it, enough said guys, nice and high. Get reached up, up on the toes. Big full body stretch, I'm trying to touch the ceiling. Good, hands back down to shoulder height. Let's do our two for the price of one. Just tip those knees forward, there. Think of a little saying, on the toilet, off the toilet, on the toilet, off the toilet, good stuff, there. Shoulder height. Push the hands to the rear as far as you can, there. The hips will not bend forwards. You come up the toes, but the shoulder rotator cuffs are gonna love it. Two more, one, two, and for a quick pause and stop, let's shake everything out. Beam fit, shake the hands out, a bit of whiplash, shake the feet out, a little bit of whiplash. I'm sweating already and got tingly feelings down the spine. Bring the feet back in, hands up and out, turn them up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, thumbs above the heart, elbows low and take a second to pause it there. Let's think nice soft knees. Let's think 30% abs and pelvic floor. Let's hold it there. Now squish it out. Hold the position again. And now slowly push the hands out and let's get to 15 and try and touch the walls. Rotate the hands over, fruit balls in the palms of the hands. Open those fingers up. Open them up wider and even wider. Long arms, big deep breath in, go. Exhale down to the heart. The elbows are gonna stay nice and high and we're gonna push in three seconds. Go, two, three. We're gonna hook those hands back over. Pull apart, go, two, three, and hands to the side and lean over any side you want to. Eight seconds. Got my eyes closed already because I'm easing it. Remember, no worm catches tomorrow, guys, because we'll go down to Red Ruth. Normal service next week. And isometrics tomorrow. And for the life of me, I can't, I think it's turtles. I can't, I can't, I can't or bands, is it? I can't remember. And coming back up right over the other side. Good, gently feel it in the waist. As soon as you feel a bit of tightness, then we pause and hold. It's not a stretch, it's a spinal mobilization. Bring it back upwards. Pointy fingers out, nice long arms, concrete trousers on, mine are bright purple and green. They're gonna follow the left finger. Hips facing you, tightness anywhere in the body, and I stop and bring it back. And I'm getting tightness right through the, right through the body. Being fine all week. Get back to the Black Mountains and get some nice fresh Welsh air back into your lungs. That's what it's about. There, second one this side. That's feeling better. Watching the fingernail, bringing that back around. Good. And back this way. Second one. This side. That's feeling better. The body's reacting. It's loosening off, guys. We've got the muscle memory there. We all get the odd ache and pain, don't we? We think, oh, do the class. That gonna... And you start the class and you think, hang on, it's gone. What's that all about? Muscle memory kicks in. Good. Going to bring those hands nicely down. Let's take a big deep breath in. Hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart. Hands coming down to the thighs. Keep the feet where they are. One time only. One bicycle chain. Breathe in. Exhale. Chin to the chest. Sliding the hands down the front of the body. Middle fingers coming in front of the toes. We pause and hold. We'll push the knees to the rear nice and gently. Arc the back up, cat stretch nice and gently. Chin to the chest. Relax. Big deep breath in for a reset. Exhale and we slowly come back upwards. Uncoiling. Then think good posture. Shoulders up, look at the corner of the room. Let the elbows go to the rear very slightly so you know it's doing it right correctly because the chest will come forward with that imaginary stream. Hold. 30%. Let's get onto the beam, guys. Here we go. So it's beam fit. It's not going to be mad, crazy beam fit, super fast stuff or anything like that. It's going to be a normal beam fit. So I've got the right foot at the front, 
left foot to the rear, dropping the heel over the back of the beam, bringing it forwards. And it's three step beam walks, guys. We're doing a bit extended tonight, just get to keep focus in there, stop us being accustomed to doing the same amount in the same time. Go one, two, three, and three, and two. And a one, looking good, feeling good. Well, we're not, we're looking fantastic and feeling fantastic. And back we go there. Next up, from just to adjust my camera. There you keep up going front to rear, heel to toe, toe to heel. I'll get back to the rear. Who am I going to get in time with? Here we go, I'll get in time with Viv when she gets to the back. One, two, three, and back the front. Off we go. One, two, three, heel, toe, falls, toe, heel to the rear. My beam feels like it's about five foot wide so far tonight or this evening. Don't call it tonight, call it this evening. The evening lasts longer then, doesn't it? Good. We're past the equinox. Heel going backwards, but it's going to be a bit dark, but we don't care about that. Enjoy the warm weather, guys. Enjoy the light. We know it doesn't last very long. A few more to the front. Here we go. Heel toe forwards. No hangovers. How are we doing? Is it your favourite side? Going backwards. Two and three. Last one at the front. One, two, three. Three, return three, and two, and pause and hold there. Camera's not right, is it? Take the hands up and out. Turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. Look good, feel good. Squish those hands out. Rotate round for two. Turn them up again, breathe in. That's it. Exhale down to the heart. Squish. Bring it back round to me. Arc the hands down nicely. Hold the thumb and rotate those shoulders to the rear two or three times. Then to the front. Oh, that's a big tingly feeling right down the spine. I like that one. Good. Swap the feet over, guys. Switch back. Good. Keeping it all. No newfangled exercises this evening. We're going to revisit some classic stuff, if you like. All right. So swap the feet over. I've now got my left foot in the front. I drop the heel over the beam. And every time I'm moving the foot around the beam, I don't want to get a hangover on any foot movement. Three steps to this side. Go. One, two, three, and back. Three and two, and one, I'm starting to glow already, but the glow, because I'm a man, soon turns into a bit of a sweat, there we go, and back, body's feeling good, and even this side, this is not my favourite side, as I said, that get wobbled, but I've got no hangovers, and fat to the front there, let's get that corrected, I'm thinking too far ahead of what we're doing in the session, here we go, three, two, one, focus tug, off we go, toe heel backwards, there, that's better, Heel toe, heel toe, equal body weight distribution, nice, relaxed, robot arms. Two more. One, two, three, and three, and two, and one. Legs not locked out, so God's liking that. The legs are like shock absorbers, the way he designed them. For a pause, hold. Hands up and out, turn the palms up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, pause, hold. Squish them out now. And rotate, look fantastic, feel fantastic. Turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale to the heart, squish the hands out, bring it back around to me. Arcing those hands down, guys, holding the thumb again, rotate it back. And we're doing this one, trying to get that tingly feeling again. Oh, I've got it again. Good, fantastic. Clap from me, swap the feet over, guys, bring it to here. Let's take the hands up, out, pause, hold, there. Guess what I found behind the set here? As soon as I got back from Wales, You've guessed it, a blue balloon. It's there, guys. It's the knee. Gently raise up to their same movement up and down. Very lightly tapping that beam with the toe. Very, very lightly. That gets you good engagement through the core. Good balance. Nice, strong hip flexors working. Turn the hands up, palms facing the ceiling. That changes everything because you want to grab onto things. The body doesn't like the palms facing upwards. Join them together. Here we go. There. Nice and relaxed, not a hand clap, but almost. We're straight into a massive full body exercise. The hands now become the governors. Want to speed up, we don't get to speed up the leg. The hands do it and the leg will follow, but we're not going to speed up. Fingertips coming in, think heart shape. Look at, when we do that, we look better and we feel better because it's more graceful there. Like what the gymnasts do, hands coming together. Olympics coming up, guys. Watch the gymnasts on TV for a pause. Three, two, one, and there. Palms down, rotate. In fact, watch all the sports. Turn the hands up and breathe. Exhale down. What's the cross section of stuff that so many athletes do that we also do in our classes? Arc those hands down, shake them out, and swap the feet over. You are all athletes. I'm an athlete, all right? 
but we're never going to be and never we're going to be the same level as these other guys who are doing sports you're an athlete okay you're looking after yourself mentally and physically this side hands up and out just the same thing guys i swapped the leg over if you didn't see that tell you can't remember off we go there there so the standing foot is the foundation there the front one raising up is acting a bit like a ship's rudder because if it goes to the side the body's going to rotate so we want that nice straight line down the center there and that's powerful look how steady your arms are i am impressed turn those hands up facing the ceiling looking good brilliant let's go here we go there not a hand clap but almost there and that is looking graceful. You guys watching this later on, on the catch up. I know some of you said you're even gonna do Saturday afternoon. Look how powerful that is, looking brilliant. Bring the fingertips in heart shape, there. Most all this, we mostly called it a mobot, there. It's a beam fit heart shape, guys, there. Not a hand clap, but almost again. And for a pause in three, two, and the one, hands there, palms down, rotate round, looking fantastic. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish the hands out back round to me. We're gonna arc those hands down, shake them out. Feel the shoulders working hard, guys. Big breaths, every so often, hold it yourself. And nice, if you feel that you've been working hard, you blow out hard, when you relax, you let it out nice and gently. Swap those feet back over. And we're about one third down the beam. We know what that means. It's one step. Let's get that one going. Off we go. Left, there, left, there, step. Okay, we've done two or three. Now let's dig the ball that foot into the beam or your tape. Push the foot in, push. And feel that that, that gets you from 30% abs up to about 60. Engaged, back. It works up the spine. Little robot arms there, guys. Now you're gonna probably feel your lats coming up, the side of your chest here. Everything's joining in, push. It's a little bit of isometrics on the beam, to be perfectly honest. Push and back, push. It's hard work. Okay, don't push so hard. We're not gonna do full dips. More like a curtsy, if you like. As you come forwards, foot flat, gentle dip and back. Not all the way, quarter way and back. That's all, quarter and back. So the back heel comes off the beam, about two inches, I'd say, and back. It's a very slight dip and back. There. We don't want to go all the way, because life isn't like that. We don't always dip down all the way to the ground, do we? Don't have to, it's not going to do it. There and back, good. Step and back, step and back. Normal stepping now, upright, there we go, there and out. On the move, hands up and out and hold there, just do that little step. Good. Now dig the ball of the foot in again, push and back. So the leg is effectively almost straight, knees not locked out, but almost there. And look how that changes it because the hands are to the side. On the move, turn the hands up and hold them to a tall tower. Relax the elbows, carry on pushing the ball of the foot into the beam. That changes everything. Feel how that's working through the core? Unbalancing us, there. Hands back to here, palms facing down. Good. A little slight curtsy if you like. There. Quarter dip and back. Quarter dip and back. There, three more of these. Then it's at the robot arms. One, and two, and three. And little robot arms, normal stepping. There, and back. Can we come back normal stepping? This is where you feel that relief of the thing. Oh, it's now back to normal. That's the positivity of the work we just done. How long have we been working? Get up there. That feels nice and normal now. There, and back. Good. Hands to our sternum. Little dips with flying angels. So don't dip that knee down any more we've done so far. Ready? There, back. Now as we do that, look how we're conditioned. We want, we feel like we want to bend that knee even more, but we're putting the brakes on and bringing it back. It's got our control. Therefore, it's educating us through the nervous system. We can control the body and not always go to the full extent there. So slight movements we're in more control of there and back good normal steps but still keep the hands going up from the pelvic floor up there a normal step taken fantastic that's good well done jersey boys there and back and there do your two or three and now my hand is going way off the back like mr policeman badgers there good <laughs> point your finger top of the shoulders and now you do this one work hard 
but relax. Our hips upwards wants to rotate. Hip stands going forwards. We can feel it. Now push the ball that foot into the beam. Push and back. Push and back. Push. Two more of those there. Push and back. Push. Now normal step. There we go. Normal step and back. Head of the hangovers there and out. I've got one hangover before, so I'm not happy with that. Out. Little toe's going to get cut off later on. I'll teach that one a lesson. That little dip, guys, the quarter dip to the front. Here we go with the jersey boys. Little one, back. It feels weird, doesn't it? Because we're putting that on. But look at the jersey boys, it's working your mid to lower lumbar. There. Out and back. Step and back. Three more. One and two and three. And robot arms relax, relax, relax. There. Now we feel we're on that beam working hard, waiting for the next movement, which is going to be an on the move switch back. Here we go. Three and two and step, step and slide the foot back. Feel for the warm part on the beam. It's there and I'm in control and step and there. So this is your favourite side. We're looking forward to it. If it's not, so oh, have we got a favourite side anymore? Are both sides of the body now balanced off? Some sessions, other sessions, maybe not. We all have bad days, don't we? There and back. Push the ball, that foot in the beam now. There, here we go. Push and back. Push and back. There, digging in. So the beam's absorbing that energy. It's pushing it back out. We keep it under control. As you push now, feel how the abs are working again this side, working up to the outside of the chest, into the big lateral muscles, the big accessory breathing muscles there, the upper back postural muscles, Good, normal stepping. And now the little quarter dip, here we go. There, and back, and down. So my back heel on this side is just coming off the beam. The front foot's nice and flat, and it's just a tiny little dip. There, and back. And now what happens is, it starts working the same muscles when you're just kicking the foot into the beam and pushing inwards, there. Normal walking there, good, there. Hands up and out and just hold them there. Put some imaginary foam under the hands. Dig the ball that foot into the beam. Here we go. There and back and push. Oh, there's no football on tonight. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I knew I'd get that reaction. You couldn't keep those hands still, could you? Good stuff. There, back, good. Little dips to the front. Here we go. Dip and back and dip. We know it's going to happen Tuesday, don't we? It's going to be penalty shootout with Germany and they're going to beat us. <laughs> it's written on the wall at Wembley. Dip and back and dip and back. One more. There. Relax those arms down, guys. Normal and back. My beam is turning towards the fireplace. Danger. And there. We're going to keep it going. If I disappear, then I go echoey. I'm up the chimney, okay? There. Step and back. And Jersey boys, here we go. There, got my three going. Now I'm getting those pointy fingers, top of the shoulder. I'm, really, I'm throwing those arms around the body, guys, in a controlled way. We're getting it around. Hand well up the back there. The thing with the Jersey Boys is we're rotating the body left and right. We want us to swivel around. So much stuff going on. It's probably the biggest exercise for the core on the beam when we're moving about, to be honest. There, back. Dig the ball, the foot in the beam. Different this side. We need both things. Here we go. Dig the ball, the foot in. There and back. Now, as you're doing that one, feel like you're pushing the ball the foot in, the top of your shoulders start engaging as well. How's that work? Good. And back. Little dips. Here we go. And quarter dip. Back. Quarter dip. Back. Now, show off. Look. For, you're looking fantastic, guys. There we go. There. And back. Done. And back. Three. And two. And one. And normal walking, robot arms, relax it down. Good. Feeling fantastic. Looking good. Hands to sternum there. Little imaginary friend. It's out and back. Out and back. And there. Good. And out. Now push the ball of the foot in. There. Feel that happening there. Shoulders rotate the cuff. So before I mentioned the shoulders working, when we push the ball of the foot in, because the arms are coming out, it's making the rotator cuff work even more. And that's going right up the spinal column there. Little dips to the front, here we go. Quarter, back, quarter, back. How many have we done? I haven't got a clue, 500. There, and back, three left. One, and two, 
and three hands of pelvic floor keep a step going there let's finish this little sequence off pull it to bed with just straightforward steps and angel wings off we go up there and back and all i want to do now is focus on the diaphragm getting raised up in the chest the waist gets sucked in full 360 so i are loving that one and the chest coming upwards we're inflating all five lobes of the lungs relaxing those shoulders then getting a nice big stretch through the body and the spine and let's come for a pause and a rotation in a three and a two and a one pause and hold take those hands up and out turn up breathe in exhale down to the heart pause hold there guys elbows low step forward one there squish the hands out turn up breathing again balancing everything off exhale to the heart elbows low pause and hold arc the hands down step away from your beam on tape quick slurp of water if you haven't or if you want to you don't go for ages and any we could have been half with that last sequence you feel thirsty you stick get off the beam and get some water guys some will do it i know some want to but uh, well, i can't get off the beam we're in the middle of the sequence doesn't matter you sip the water okay all right back to the beam i'm about a third of the way down it i'm taking the hat how did i say that that was a very good accent wasn't it? down it what does that mean hands to our sternum right we're going to go down to one knee get there and we're going to come back up so we're switching from beam fit a little bit of beam lattice now okay this is in your own time that knee coming down so hands to here a normal step or where you feel you've got a step to relax it down three two one out we come to here and just touch down and hold so we've gone from quite fast work to bringing it right down focus concentration turn hands up breathe exhale to the heart squish it out and back to our feet three two one up we come it's there and down what i like doing in small groups every so often like this one guys a load number so we'll watch it later focus on when we stand come to that kneeling position and the hands come up big circle when your little fingers come together there the back foot touches bring it down to here nice and graceful and then we come back up again let's focus on that let's do a few more hands to our sternum ready three two one pointy fingers out we come graceful better looking good turn hands up breathe in exhale to the heart good out we go more points for looking elegant to our feet three two one pinky fingers out and touch then we stand up all these movements remember if you're losing your balance you do this minimal pause hold and you stand people don't even know that you that you stop moving two more of those hands to our sternum we're ready big exercise and we go relax put the leg out and bring it down even better turn the hands up breathe in exhale to the heart squish it out look how much balance you on me first 18 months ago guys we were on the floor weren't we back to our feet three two one up we come here little pinky coming down we touch no hangovers and we relax and bring it up and the judges say 10 10 10 10 10 because they're cowboy judges 10 10 10 10 10 10 last one to hear guys <laughs> okay man welsh accent again last one this side off we go three two one it's out long fingers coming out pause hold elegant big powerful exercise fantastic turn hands up breathe in exhale to the heart squish them out pinky fingers ready three two one up we come there that's good that should be video well done let's swap those feet over guys let me click this thing off the screen here where that's come from i do know now i can see myself good oh I've got sweat running down the back of my neck now swapping the feet over here we go i've got the right foot coming out there so no difference big focus so let's take a pause think the exercise through hands to the sternum point your fingers ready one two three there and hold brilliant turn the hands up breathe in so stable guys exhale it down squish those hands out back to our feet three two one up we come little pinkies coming out i roll the back foot then i stand back up pause hold nothing yes look how good we are back to the hands to here guys 
Let's do two more inside. Off we go. Out there. Hands up. All working together. Brilliant. Looking fantastic. Exhale down to the heart. You're looking like a video. Push it outwards. Back to our feet. Three, two. And what we come. Not any normal video DVD. A very expensive one. Two more. Last two, guys. Trust me. Honest. One, two, three. Point your fingers out there. That's a nice big stretch as well, isn't it? Powerful. Hands up. Good posture. Breathe in. Exhale nicely down. Good control. Squish the hands out. Elegance. Back to our feet. Three, two, and what we come. Little pig is coming together. Good. I bring it back up. Hands to the sternum. One, two, three. Out we go. There. There. So come from beam lattice to a beam fit speed almost. Turn the hands up. Breathe in. I've seen that. Exhale, exhale down to the heart. Looking good. Squishing the hands out. One, two, three. Up we come. Roll and back. Last one, hands the stern. One, two, three. Off we go out. Powerful, hold. Turn the hands up, breathe. Exhale to the heart. Squish those hands out. Two our feet. One, two, three. Roll the hands up we come. Roll the foot. There we go. Gliding on the beam, guys. Hardly any marks where we've been working. Step off, shake everything out. Looking good. We're liking it. Let's take it up a little bit, shall we? I've moved my beam, repositioned it. So I can put my foot on the wall up there and miss the curtains. Okay, right foot front, left foot behind. It's one step, go. There, back, there, back. It's normals, it's where you want to go for front, side and rears, go. Front, side, rear, out. Now what you've done, because we've done that previous one going down, you're now thinking, no hangovers, Powerful, nice straight line on the beam. We're all conditioned there. Round we go. Out, front, hands to our sternum. Good. Where is time going? I don't, I must be still the Welsh channel. It's a bit quicker, as so I'm told. There, it's out and back. Gonna move those hands now from the front and the rear. Side, front, there, and rear. So get the balance. I'm not gonna pause and hold any, but if we did, we want to be able to say we do a stop and we've got our balance. Nice straight line, right down the top of the head, through the middle of the core of the body, out through the bottom, between our feet, there. We're working to remove that straight line around the beam and we get our hands nice and long. And there the governors, they're controlling the speed of that foot. We're going to go for dips to the front and the side, straight off because we can. Let's go for it. From the front, here we go. Dip and side and beam, and there, and front, and good, and good. The longer you get those arms, guys, the more body weight you're using, and the less energy the legs will use. There, and out, and good. Fantastic. Let's keep that going. Looking good. Let's start the weekend in style. And when you come to the back of the beam and the arms come out, the chest comes up, Fantastic tall posture. The back foot is on the toes. Front foot is flat. Three left is side. Here we go, there. Be a beam fit machine. One, one, beam, and two, two, beam. Last one, there. Front, a pause to the rear, out, and we hold. Do we get hangovers? No, turn hands up, breathe in. Exhale to the heart, squish out. Rotate round for two. Hands up, breathe. Exhale down, squish them out. Back round to me. Arc it down, shake it out. Step away, guys, and a little shake out. Good stuff. So sometimes do that, we switch straight over, don't we? I'm being nice tonight, see? Because my brain is no longer feeling frazzled. We're back into a good Thursday. Here we go, guys. Swap it over. Left foot front, right foot to the rear. Quick clock check. Oh, look at that. We've got time, you'll be happy to know, for a hundred of those on this side. <laughs> One step, let's get focused, go. Step, 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 step. There, back. Look how easy that feels now after the work we did before. Normal stepping now, we could do it with our eyes closed. Not this session, maybe next session. There and out. 
but I know you'll cheat. So we'll put black bags on our heads and do it that way, okay? Front side and rear, front side, rear. Now work around the beam, lightness of the feet and speed and agility. So we're just gently putting pressure out and we're bringing it back. So a little bit of a push off the floor combined with this core, bringing the body weight back in line and using those on, look how relaxed it is there. Out, back, there. When people first stop doing the beam and do this one, it doesn't look coordinated. It can look quite funny in some cases, but we don't, we're looking good. It's out, hands are sternum here. Foot, we've got to focus all the time. If we don't, we'll get a hangover. We feel it, don't we? From the front to the rear next time. Here we go, side, there. Little imaginary friend working super hard. In fact, my little imaginary friend's going to get a right slap after this because he's really pulling that imaginary string pack this evening. It's there. But we're getting the chest up, working all five lobes, bringing the posture up, look. The chest like the bow of that ship coming out the ocean, guys, there. And there, and back, and out. Round we go, there. And the hands come through, I've got the A4 paper between the shoulder blades, there. Fully working, out. Big arcs, it's a dip to the front and the side from front. Here we go with a dip and there. We can that knee crack there and out and front. Now don't shorten those arms down. Get your pointy fingers out. That's what I do. It's a little trick. It keeps the arms long. We're going to slow down, We're covering more space. Front and there. And go around to the ones over the, over the beam to the front for a long time, haven't we? Got to think of that, bringing that one in, out. Three left. One, 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 and two, two. Can we do some more, you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. And three, and three, and pause and hold. Turn those hands up. We all stopped at the same time there. Fantastic. Breathe. Exhale. Squish. Rotate, feeling good. Turn the hands up, breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, squish those hands out, bring it back round to me. Arc the hands down, guys, step away. Shake everything out. Spot on time. Anybody think I planned it, wouldn't they? Good stuff. Yes, we're a bit warm, aren't we? Brilliant. The most important thing is hands up and out. Turn up, breathe in. Exhale, squish, turn the palms towards me. We've got to get this in. It's the most important bit. Quick, 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 quick. Good. And we're there. One, two, three. We've made it, guys. Happy weekend start. Go. Yes. Good stuff. No work catches tomorrow. See you for asymmetrics. Stay safe above all, okay? That was brilliant. I like that. Use watching it on recording later. Watch everybody, not just me. Good stuff, guys. Catch you later, all right? Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Brilliant. I liked that one. I liked it a lot. Good stuff.